All right, guys. Well, the fun hasn't stopped even with the wounded. Uh, well, you could say even with the blown. We all have motors still going, guys. I mean, it says something about the product of the uh, S9 Max icing wheel. It's still going. It's still driving. So, like I said, you know what? And I still have to buy another scooter, guys. Okay, so here you go. See guys, this usually happens, so just give me a minute. So I have to do is restart it, get it booted up, it'll go. This is usually a day with the scooter with the long wheel hub motor. Shall I reboot it? Give it a little. Give it a little kick, you know, well, we'll try to hour back to it, guys. But like I said, I'm really impressed with the product of Ison Wheel. I mean, if they only made a dual motor scooter, I'm considering getting their Ison Wheel GT2, guys. I really am. It has 11 inch tires, it has a seat, 800 watt motor, turn signals, horn, all that good stuff. I mean, it's really got me thinking about it, guys. It's got a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery. I mean, Drop your comments down below, guys. Tell me what you think about it, please. Like I said, this company is giving my second wheel hub motor with no issue, so that's great. Their customer service has been really good. They replaced my bag on this scooter. I have, I have had really no major complaints on the company. I mean, great customer service. So what I'm communicating from China through email, big deal. It's not a big deal. They're actually responding to me, so like I said, a lot of companies are get back to their customer, but they leave you, they leave you hanging, guys. We're going about, we're probably gonna have an E16 moment, maybe a little bit, maybe, maybe not. I might be wrong. Like I said, guys, uh, it's looking like it might do it. I might be wrong. Let's hope it keeps. Oh, uh, it should keep moving, guys. Don't worry. I know how to turn it back off and turn it back on. It acts goofy. Not worried about that at all. Guys, look at the trail. It's so nice, ain't it? It's, it's creeping along. You know, it's moving. Guys, look at this, huh? I mean, if anyone could imagine having like a little like, you know, back in the day before anyone developed I think, I bet you could imagine having a nice little log cabin off in the distance. You know, that would look pretty nice. There was some YouTuber guys, and he made a solar powered. Oh, yeah. He made a solar powered um, RV, some solar powered little camper thing, like a little home on wheels, basically. All right, guys, so we're, we have exactly 1,300 and. I'm to get this thing to read. Guys, it's not picking up the numbers for some reason. We have 1,336 miles at 179 degree temperature, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna try this again. Here we go. Oh, it's not having it. So what we're gonna do. This time I'm gonna kick. I'm gonna kick it a little bit along. I'm gonna give it a little kicking and throttle while I'm making the video with you guys, and I'm gonna get it going. Hang on a minute. I gotta give you guys a couple of kicks by me. There you go, guys. I got it. I had to give it a little boost. The motor sometimes doesn't always have it like that. Um, like I said. This dude on YouTube, I, I'm subscribed to a lot of channels, but he made a pretty cool solar powered camper, guys. Home on wheels kind of thing where you go through the woods. 
But yeah, guys, drop your comments down below. Let me know if you think the Ice and Wheel GT2 is worth me uh, buying, you know. Unless you guys have a better brand. Like I said, anything that's below, eh, maybe 800 bucks. I mean, I don't know where I'm going to, what other brands there are. I know there's Cooper, I know there's, uh, there's Royal Motors, I know there's, uh, the awesome Gallup Leopard seems to stand out to me too, guys. See that? that but that's, like I said, you're pushing about 800 bucks, you know. The best budget scooter I think I'm going to be going with is going to be the, uh, the Ice and Wheel GT2. I mean, that seems like it's going to be the, the winner because it's only right around 600 bucks, you know. It's not dual motor, so I mean, it's a single motor scooter like this one, but it offers up more power, you know. It has more power than this thing. This thing's only 500 watts. The other one's 800, so you might as well call it. It's pushing close to 1,000 watts of power, so there's going to be a difference there. There's going to be a big difference. Uh, this one here is good still. It's just waiting on the motor to get here for it. With these all-terrain tires, though, guys, oh, I'll tell you what, huge day and night difference. I rode this thing the day it was drizzling. Great. Great traction, no spin, no spin outs or nothing. It just fucked and grabbed, you know? And guys, I have to really give this company a lot of credit because, I mean, the motor's blow, but it's still taking me down. It's still taking me for my ride. It's not stopping at me. So, hey, even better, you know what? Mad credit to Ice and Wheel for building a great scooter. Hang on one second, guys. Let me power this thing down and start it back up again. Hang on one second. No big deal. I'm not worried about that at all. All right, guys. If we can give it throttle and go, we will. I got to do it the other way around, guys. Hang on one minute. Okay, hang on a minute. We're going to kickstart it with our foot, and then we'll get throttle and go. Give me a minute, guys. We're going to drop. Do kicks moving. All right, guys. We're back to it now. There we go. That's how my hack, that's how I hack this thing when it's like this, guys. I just kickstart it like a regular manual scooter, and I'm off and going again. See? Look at that, guys. Like nothing ever really happened. It doesn't really bother me that much that it's doing that. So I just, I learned something, guys. I learned a trick, you know. See, you guys, they put like a little bench here since you want to rest. But my thing is, they should put like a little water station if you're thirsty. As well as you are exhausted, you have something to drink at least to cool, your, cool yourself down, you know. But maybe there's no water nearby, I'm guessing, probably. They'd have to run off. I'm guessing they have their own like piping or something underneath the ground for like water to go to that area, you know. Um, my other part of the trail is closed right now, guys. The light I'm on uh, south is closed right now for repairs, so I'm not gonna go in the grass. I don't I fall out on my knees in the past, guys, so I don't feel like having to walk through the grass and up all the hills and all that stuff to get to the other half, you know. But guys, I think you know, like I was saying, there's Cooker, Cooker and G2, there's Cooker, there's Awesome, Awesome Leopard Company, there's a lot of companies out there. Um, there's even uh, the Raging Bull Scooter, I mean, that thing's a freaking animal. The Raging Bull, or they call it Raging Bull, yeah, that thing's awesome, dude. Guys, look at this freaking nice house across here, yeah, let me... Let me stop right about here, so I can actually see pretty deep. You can see pretty decently right here. Okay, so let me stop and I'll zoom in, and you guys can see what I'm talking about. Right, so right here, you guys can see the house. It's pretty nice. Guys, look at this freaking house. Guys, what a freaking nice house, huh? It's like a big old like mansion, huh? This one here, to the right, this one to the right of it, if I can get it in the picture, I can see the roof peaking, I can see the roof peak from where I'm walking at, but for some reason I've seen a lot of trees. That house right there where you see the roof peak at, 
that one's going to be the mouse because it's going to be a back part of the fourth preserve. So yeah, that won't be there for long. Okay. So I want it to be for my frame. There you go, guys. Oh, it doesn't like when I stop sometimes. So yeah, it's... You take the good with the bad, and you just keep going, guys. All right, now we can go. I think we can just ask a few tricks to help it along. All right, guys, now we're back to moving. It likes me to stay moving. The minute I stop, there's a rough spot in the wheel hub where I... Where I thought... Uh, so I have to assess it a little bit. But like I said, guys, if any company ever wanted to send me a scooter to keep on going down for it, I'm like, why not, you know? And I've seen all the scooters Yogi Steve has ridden. He's got some good ones, I tell you what. The electric dirt bike, I would need, definitely need a, a different kind of camera. Someone ever sent me something like that. I need something. I would need a handlebar mount and the camera that can go in there so I'd be able to make the videos, guys. I wouldn't mind riding an, um, an electric dirt bike. I think it'd be pretty cool, you know? I actually seen one ripping down Main Street yesterday, guys. It was freaking awesome. This thing was like a little rocket, you know? But the dude that's got the dirt bike, he got a nice little ride, you know? There's another uh, woman or girl. Yeah, there's another girl that rides a scooter around my town, too, and like I said, Nice little scooter, I mean, hey. Glad, I'm glad to see these little micro-mobility scooters become more popular. That's great. I wish they would make a bigger tire, hard, solid hard rubber tire scooter, guys. My reason for that is because if you run over glass or nails or anything like that, you don't have to, like, the scooter, I can ride it all. I can ride it in my town. I can ride this in the middle of town. I can ride this up Main Street, wherever in my town. Now I can't worry about flats because I'm solid hard rubber tires, but if you have pneumatic tires, here's the bad news to that. Bad news bear is if you have pneumatic tires, you're on over glass or something, guys, you're going to wind up catching a flat. Might not be, it depends on how fast your leak is. You might catch it the same day. You might go out to use your scooter the next day and come out to an ugly surprise with a flat tire. She is, she is moving though, guys. The scooter is, oh, I feel a rough, I feel a rough part on the wheel motor so I can... I can feel it struggle a little bit, but it's still going. I mean, that's even, that's really good. All right, guys, I think we're we'll turn around right here and give it a break. Yeah, it didn't have it. It wasn't having it, guys. I said not today, not on that half of it. But guys, I am doing a modification to the scooter. I'm putting a uh, 36 volt, uh, 30 amp hour battery in here. So yeah, that's going to be going in. I found it on eBay for like 75 bucks. I mean, why not, right? I have more range than what I have like right now. Oh, geez. Damn it, guys. I got to redo it. I got to give it a couple of kicks and I'll be off and off to the races again, guys. Give me a minute. It wasn't having it. It wasn't about to have that kind of stuff. Hey, one minute. It's not in the mood to be uh, throttled and jumped on right off the bat. Okay, right, here we go. With the wheel hub motor being blown up. There we go. Now we're good. And guys, off camera, I rode this thing before in winter time, and it was, you know, fun. So the guy took 30 seconds to pull in the parking lot, pull out whatever he was doing. So I sat on my brakes, and I, put, I I stopped my feet down right away, and I, and I got the scooter back up in the street. So if you guys are able to learn how to save yourself and catch yourself when you're about to slide back, I highly recommend you guys sharpen up on your skills if you like you're going to fall backwards or something guys learn how to catch yourself learn how to put your feet down right away just learn to kick your feet out right away and put them down on the ground right away so you're ready for it you know 
or just slowly apply your brakes if you're on wet asphalt, guys. It's my recommendations to you guys upon riding when it's, you know, slightly moist outside. Guys, this scooter is doing really good. I mean, yeah, it's got a little hiccup with the wheel motor, but so what? Still drive me around. It might be off and on a little bit with it, but... Yep, well, there you go again. Like I was saying, guys, there's some perks that come along with it, but so what? Maybe I might get the GT2 ice and wheel scooter, because that seems to be the most affordable thing for like $5.99 with the seat right now, so. So here we go, guys, we're back to it again. There you go, guys. We gave it a couple kicks to help it along. There you go. So my my main affordability for scooter that I'm gonna go with is gonna be about the Ice Wheel GT2, 599 with a seat. That's pretty good. So you're only at 600 bucks. All these other scooters are going for about 1,200 to 2,000. Like I said, guys, I don't have an affiliate, nor do I have someone who's gonna say, "Here, here, Snoop, I'll I'll throw you a, a $1,200 scooter to keep." You know, I don't <laughs> I don't foresee that. Stuff I get, I, I purchase myself, guys. You know, I buy it my own self, you know. But yeah, guys, you guys are in for a surprise. Come around a little after 11 o'clock. You guys get to see my new tractor today. And the neighbor gave it to me for free. It's, it's garage kept. It's like brand new. And I mean, heck yeah. 17 and a half horsepower. The um, Briggs and Stratton. Um, garage cup, I mean, how the heck can I go wrong? I mean, completely, I'm completely excited. I really am. I'm ready for it. Ooh, guys, she's trying to, oh, she's still grabbing and moving. Uh, and it's the side that was doing that. The side that, the side that made me eat my own words from it. Well, guys, this video will not be born by a long shot. So don't, the... Don't think it's gonna be a a boring video because there's never a dull moment with Snoopy here in the in the S9 Max. All right, guys, here we go. She'll take me down the rest of the trail. I'm not worried about that. I'm glad I worked out when I was in high school, guys. I got nice big knee muscles. I got big knee muscles, but like I said. When I fall on my knees in the past, guys, on concrete, I will, I do get sore kneecaps from time to time. So, yeah. Me and the e-bike would probably not be a good fit. So I have to be, I'd have to be cranking my knees a lot. And my kneecaps would wind up getting sore from that. Scooters, I just put my feet down. Push on the throttle or twist, whichever they have. Because some, some scooters are like this. You have to twist the throttle with your hand. But I was seeing that someone actually swapped out their trial for a better, uh, like a thumb setup, you know, like, I don't mind this little thumb piece here, it's pretty cool. It's pretty easy on my hand, doesn't bother me at all, you know. But guys, this scooter is doing really good for itself, I mean, look at this thing. This thing's a little freaking beast, it's just going. And guys, I guarantee there's not many scooters that will still ride you around while the wheel hub motor is blowing apart. Well, it's blown up. There's no way. I guarantee you that you would be walking it and you wouldn't be getting any riding out of it at all. This scooter here, yeah, I'm getting some riding out of it. I'm not even worried about the fact that it's doing this. I just turn it off. And I got a kickstart, I guess. You know what Guys, if you have a ice and S9 Max with a blown wheel haul motor and you want to ride it, well, here's what you're supposed to do. Act like you're on a manual kick scooter, give it a couple kicks. And then when you're moving, hit the growl. There you go. And as you can tell, it's working for me. Flawlessly. I'm hitting a good, I'm hitting a good 13 miles, 14 miles an hour with it right now. That's not bad, I'm not complaining either. 
I'm actually really impressed with the two guys. Really happy with it. And like I said, guys, keep in mind the scooter's got it's got 1,300 some odd miles on it. When I get back home, I'll show you guys. It's gonna have more than what I have on it, like right now, which doesn't bother me. I'm actually liking the scooter a lot, guys. This is really a decent little scooter. I know it can't climb hills too well, but that's so what. You know what? I got it for like 500 bucks off Amazon. Around Chris, tell that semi truck, guys. He's hauling it too, guys. He's got. He's probably got some asphalt in there because he's got insulation on the side of his bed, so he's. He's definitely hauling asphalt in the back of that truck. You guys, look at these freaking hill sizes, yeah? Look at that freaking right. This is a nice house right all the way in the back here. It's really nice. It's really nice out here, guys. I don't see anyone else coming up. Well, that I can see on the shell. And yeah, for some reason, I'm getting a blurry view. I don't know why. There we go. There we go. We're better off now. Like I said, guys, I've had no problems on the scooter at all. Except for the E16 call. Big deal. It's not the worst thing to happen. You know what? The scooter gets me around. It does what I need to do for my transportation. I mean... You know what? This is better than a freaking car, guys. Way better. You're not paying for insurance. You're not paying for registration. Or you're paying for gasoline. Because all you're doing is plugging it in, charging off, and you're going. You know? That's why I've decided I'm going to put a, a, a bigger capacity battery in here, guys. So, yeah. It's going to be a 30 amp hour, 36 volt battery off of uh, eBay. It's only like 75 bucks, too. So, that's another, another better thing, guys. You ain't got to deal with... Uh, all the shenanigans of, uh, you know, when you get a scooter, if you see the amp power battery is really small, you type in online what you're looking for, type in your voltage, um, electric bike or electric scooter battery, electric scooter battery, and you'll be good to go again. One minute, guys. Well, me one minute to reset this thing. <laughs> it's not that bad, really. It's pretty good, guys. You guys, look at this. We're already at 1,330. That boss it. I should show it. Read it. Let me put on my short few minutes so I can show you what we're at for numbers. It takes a while for it to pick up the, the screen sometimes. 1,338.9. So that's pretty good. That many scooters make it to that many miles, guys. This this has definitely surpassed my expectations, guys. It really has. Give me a minute, guys. I gotta do some. I gotta do some more manual kicking before I can start the throttle. Stay here one minute. Before you know, we'll be off. We'll be off and moving. All right, guys. There you go. Onward we go. And it hit a. Oh well. So I'll be it. it. Did turn off. Powered off. Not a big deal, guys. I give me to turn it off. <sighs> Alright, guys, now I'm gonna. If there is a water station on this trail, I would definitely give it something to cool it off a little bit to help it cool down a little bit because it's having a hard time with it. Let me just get up to where it's all. All 
All right, guys, there you go. We're back in it. There you go. We're back in it. Back to the ride. Snoopy's are in a ride to relax down. Rest his feet for a little bit. Guys, if, when I get the GT2 ice and wheel, so far that's what I'm leaning towards. It's more affordable. You know, all these other scooters, like I said, they cost upwards of $1,200 to $2,000. I mean, and it's not like anyone's gonna. Hang on a second, guys. You want me to reboot? Come on, reboot. Alright guys, let's see if we can just... Alright guys, let's see if we can just throttle and go this time, huh? I think we'll be that lucky, won't we? Oh, we got lucky this time. It didn't make me work. Fuck. Fudge. Damn it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just a minute. Give me just a minute. Excuse our language, guys, but sometimes you get those annoying moments when you really get frustrated. But is all you can really do is just remember that that little problem that's going on is just a minor setback. I have a motor on the way for this thing, guys, so I just gotta wait for it to arrive. That's all. All right, guys, this time I'm gonna give it a couple of kicks, then I'm gonna throttle it up. All right, guys, here we go. All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna give it a few kicks, and we're gonna be down the trail. All right. Here we go, guys. Back to it. Yeah. Forward march to go. Walt it. There we go. All right, guys, she's going now. I gave her the beans. Oh yeah, we're hitting a good 12. We're getting up there pretty fast, two and a half hours. We're getting we're climbing it. Yeah, it's nice to be seeing, be sitting down, relaxing for a little bit before you gotta jump back off and start hitting the actual. You know. Hang on a second, guys. Give me a minute. I pissed it off to hit the regen button. I wasn't about to have that kind of an action for a minute. Do it. Yeah, okay. No big deal. It's all good. All right, guys. We're gonna get back to it now. We hear some kicks. Sure, kicks nice and throttle will be gone. All right, guys. Here we go. Great little scooter, though, like I said. I really have no major complaints on it. Alright. That it can't climb hills really well. That's the only downfall to the scooter here. All right, guys. All right, let's go ahead and give her some scoots. Some kicks to get moving while we get on our way. All right, guys, here we go. Let's give it the gas and keep her moving, guys. That's all you gotta worry about. Keep her moving. That's all you need to worry about. Keep her going. Here we freaking go. Freaking right. There we go. Keep on it. Keep on the gas. Woo! Yeah, guys. Here we freaking go. Here we freaking go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. She might want to go up the hill. She might just need a hard time to stop midway. Who knows? 
That's all right. That made me maybe halfway up the hill, so that's not bad. But guys, I still recommend the uh, Stein Max. You're looking for a, if you're looking for a, you know, to hold down real hard on this thing, it'll turn off. Excuse the excess beeping. But guys. Ditch your street slicks. They're useless. Get some uh, all-terrain tires off of the Amazon for twenty ninety six. I mean, I highly recommend it for what it's worth. Okay, so we don't want to jump back on her go. Here we go. Out we go, guys. Out we go. Oh yeah. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There we go. There we go. Oh. We crap the bed just as I reach the pavement. Alright, guys. Well, despite the little issues it's having, it's still a great little scooter. I have really nothing negative to say on the scooter's end. It's got, uh, Get me around. Look, it's still going. Guys, this really says a lot for the product, you know. A little, a few little. Yeah, let's actually hold that long hold. having a freak out moment all right guys not worried about the comfort mode thing i can reset that to my gap here we set that you'll realize that now i have the upper hand because i have the i have the app guys i can just reset to that and guys we're at uh, 2156 miles guys so now we have reached the new we have reached the new amount of miles now guys is that a fun cheat, huh? Alright guys, here we go. Here we freaking go. Woo! She's going! kilometers for some reason. Let me fix that in just a minute here. Don't watch it at nonsense on a speedometer because that's set in kilometers. So let me fix that. Let me fix that right now. Alright guys, we're gonna fix that right now because I know that I'm I don't know how to fix that when I can set like that too so give me just a minute. So when it happens, you just go to here. You want to set it to Imperial. Now we have miles per hour, guys. Now we're set to the right stuff. Ah, oh, that lost the it. That's fine. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. It's just not an incline over here, and it doesn't like inclines too much, so it's not too crazy about those. So let me go ahead and just get her past this little pump in the road.
Okay, right, so we are gonna go right now. That was a sucky time for it to do that. Alright guys, we are going to go ahead and get uh, the clock. I can be up on the sidewalk. Shit, damn it. That missed the Big Mac pass. There we go. Yeah, a few share of little E16 moments. Well, we had a great trail ride, you guys. I have to say, it wasn't boring. So, do you remember this video to be fun? This isn't a boring, you know, video where nothing goes wrong or nothing happens. This is actually a fun, interesting video. Not a boring, not a boring day by any means today, guys. Not at all. So let's go ahead here and get this home. Go go. Ready. The bread is going to be coming over in a little while, so let's try ready to go. Alright, guys, we are going to go. I'm going to go and enjoy my new tractor just a little bit. It's supposed to come for you, too, so get home. I'm not, I'm not really care to hit the region brake because you know what happens when I hit it. The ugly E16 cone appears and it stops and then I check, so no. I don't care to do all that because it causes problems for the scooter. Oh yeah, guys. The lady who was walking the dog on the shelf. The dog was a pretty cute little dog. It was like gray and black dog or something. Oh, green it is, but guys. Alright guys, got a couple more crossings to go, I'll be home. go ahead and give you guys a final mileage reading on the, on the video. You have, oh, 1,340. Yeah, I was a little off with what I was reading before, guys. You can see there's a glare on the screen. 1,340 miles, guys. So, yeah. I'm going to end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.